Today's top stories at NBR, Crimson Global Academy valued at more than half a billion. Legal software company completes a successful Series A raise. The Commerce Commission renews Sam Knows contract to measure New Zealand consumers' internet quality. And there's more coming right up. Kia ora and welcome to NBR Today, a wrap of the day's top business stories from the Authority in New Zealand Business News since 1970, nbr.co.nz. It's Tuesday, August 10th. I'm Paul Brennan. Thanks for joining us. Calls for an independent review of Monday night's rolling blackouts are already being made as grid operator Transpower puts New Zealand's generators on notice over energy shortage risks early this evening and the government seeks answers. Transpower this morning issued a customer advice notice advising there would be insufficient generation nationwide for two hours from 5.30pm and warnings or grid emergency notices should be issued if system conditions worsened. The grid operator expects to operate the system more comfortably tonight, with demand set to peak at about 6,700 megawatts, some 400 megawatts less than last night's record level of load. Jamie Beaton's Crimson Global Academy has been valued at more than half a billion dollars following a $25 million fundraising round led by Australia's Heal Partners. It's also attracted a second former Prime Minister to its advisory board, signing up the 26th Prime Minister of Australia, Kevin Rudd. Rudd will work alongside Sir John Key and five-time Olympian Barbara Kendall, who were appointed to the board in November 2019 and December 2020, respectively. Beaton was 18 when he set up Crimson Education education while completing degrees from Harvard and Stanford. That business claims, not without some controversy, to fast-track students into Ivy League schools. At age 25, he established online global high school CGA with former Auckland grammar headmaster John Morris. Tougher government regulations might be giving New Zealand beef farmers an advantage when it comes to reducing their greenhouse gas emissions. A new report by agribusiness Rabobank has found that strong industry leadership and market forces could help reduce emissions in global beef supply chains. The report's co-author, Rabobank Global Animal Protein Strategist Justin Sherrod, said there was the scope to reduce emissions by more than 30% in Europe, North America, Brazil, Argentina and Oceania. Joining NBR's political editor Brent Edwards was the National Party Agriculture spokesperson David Bennett. Very much based on European research, uh, the Dutch are the leader in this area at the moment and they've developed systems that are quite effective in, um, in the scale of farming that you see in the North America and European uh, situation where they're indoors and they're fed from grain and, and other products in an indoor environment. Uh, Transitioning that into an external environment like New Zealand and South America and Australia have for farming where there's a pasture-based system um, is more difficult. National Party Agriculture spokesperson David Bennett with Brent Edwards there. Tauranga-based legal software company Lawview has completed a successful Series A raise of $17 million, led by New York-based global private equity and venture capital firm Insight Partners. The software as a service company, founded in 2015, helps in-house lawyers track their legal spend and workload through a cloud-based project management system. Major customers include Nissan, Fonterra and Zuru, with it now having users based in more than 30 countries. Lawview founder Sam Kidd told NBR the company had sought new investment specifically from the US as that has become its biggest market. The Commerce Commission has renewed Sam Knows' contract to measure New Zealand consumers' internet quality for an additional year, and the contractor is calling for more volunteers to help it monitor performance. UK-based Sam Knows has held the contract to monitor RSPs, retail service providers' broadband internet performance, since 2018, when it replaced local player TrueNet. ComCom now publishes regular reports on internet speed and quality via its Measuring Broadband New Zealand, or MBNZ. A financial advisor selling down his shares in a stock tipping app is telling potential investors a pending marketing deal could double its value. David McEwen of McEwen & Associates emailed potential investors late last month to say an agreement had been reached to provide his Stock Fox app through one of the largest share market transaction companies in New Zealand. The email said once the deal was announced, any further capital raising in Blanding Holdings Limited, which owns the Stock Fox app, will be at $20 per share.
The full details of those stories and more are at nbr.co.nz right now. Tomorrow at NBR, more from Transpower General Manager Operations, Dr Stephen Jay, on Monday night's electricity blackout, and a look at the myriad of suitors pursuing a tie-up with Sky TV. I'm Paul Brennan. I look forward to being with you again tomorrow from around lunchtime for the morning's NBR trending stories. Then same time, same place, right here from 5.30 tomorrow for another NBR Today.